forgot my fork. Wait. Mr. Fork, I'm gonna come get you. Is it time? It's time for another commentary video. <laughs> Sorry if I look haggard, I just came home. But today, or this month rather, is the love of month or the month of love or February. L love is in the air. Love is in the air and I just don't care. Today, it's almost Valentine's Day. And guess what? Um, it's a day for couples to celebrate and it's also a day for us single people to be reminded of how single we are. Don't you love life? Now, I, was, I wasn't supposed to make this video. I was supposed to just review because I just got home from my exam. But but lately, some events kind of prompted me to make this video. So so before we get into Kai Notebook's relationship advice for Valentine's Day, I'm going to tell you why I made this video. So don't worry, it's going to be a short story. But so basically, I have six friends in or not. I don't have I don't just have six friends, but but mainly in my close friends of circle in university, I have six friends. Two of them are already in relationships and the four of us are single. For some goddamn reason, the past two weeks, those other three singles somehow found a partner, like in the span of two weeks. So basically, they left me hanging to dry in two weeks. Am I making this out of being salty that I'm single and I don't have someone? Maybe. But I did realize I want to spend my Valentine's Day with you guys. And what better than to spend time reading Reddit stories. Give it a round for applause, everyone. Round for applause. Round for applause. <laughs> Not only will I be reading Reddit Valentine's Day themed stories, but I'll also be giving advice on relationship relationships and, I don't know, just general... Just, you know, my knowledge based on my 20 years of living in this earth. That is not a lot. Let's go. Let's fucking, let's fucking... We're going to be going to r slash reddit, specifically under the Valentine's Day uh, category. So we're going to be reading that starting with this post. Guys of Reddit, what do you really want for Valentine's Day? There's always a stereotypical gifts for girls, but what about men? Well, I'm glad you asked. You know, us guys are very simple. You know, we just love simple things. Girls, if you're having trouble giving a guy a gift, you just have to give one thing, which is affection. That's pretty much it. That's like the cheat code for Valentine's. You just show a guy your affection like, hey, I think you're pretty cute. Um, when you'll be my Valentine or something. And then you give them like chocolate. They will, they will fucking explode. They'll be like, <laughs> I've never talked to a girl before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but literally just give them affection or a hug. Like literally that's it. You don't like maybe a chocolate as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. A guy would be happy if you showing him affection like we're that we're, we're that stupid now my friends who abandoned me and um decide to pursue their valentine uh they did ask me advice on what type of gift to give for their valentine and for me personally there are four types of gifts when it comes to valentines we have the compliment gift which is basically a compliment gift where you give this person a gift for valentine's day in order to show that you know you, you want to show that you have appreciation for their beauty or handsomeness or you just want them to feel appreciated hence why it's a compliment it's a compliment gift you're not expecting anything in return and you could literally give this to your friends or your family like this is a very nice gift to give you can give your your mom a rose you can give your dad roses or you know you can give your friends roses or you can even give your crush roses without really expecting anything back <laughs> that is what I call a compliment, compliment, but that is what I call a compliment gift. Next we have is the next step gift. Basically this gift is, you know, you want to take things to the next step. So you give a gift hoping to advance, you know, advance your relationship, get the DLC. You give them a gift hoping to, you know, kind of kind of lock in you know lock in your champion like lock in this relationship you know you want to get from friends to friends with benefits and then benefits i mean i mean relationship the third gift we have is for you sad people out there a goodbye gift let's say you don't want to like this person anymore so you give them a gift and it's like okay i like you i like you for x amount of years or months or days and me giving you this gift means that i want to move on from you but here is my token of appreciation now usually i would highly strongly not do that because valentine's day gifts usually you would expect 
something in return like it's kind of weird to just give a gift and then like not follow up on that so i don't know it's a it's a rare case and the fourth gift which i relate the most which is i don't know what the fuck i'm doing but fuck it anyway gift basically this gift is you don't know what to do you don't know if you should confess or not you don't know what this relationship is but you're just gonna give it anyway because fuck it all who cares about life who cares about thinking let's just enjoy life and shoot now it may not even be about giving and it might be more of if you should give the gift now if you need help with that basically this is what i tell myself if ever i or a friend would ask me that question imagine yourself in the year and you look back to this very very moment and ask yourself are you gonna regret this window of opportunity would you have regretted if you never gave this gift or not? Would you have taken the risk? And I think that is a good segment because I've been taking too long for this question. So you answer that and I'll move on to the next question. I'd really like to be surprised with anything actually. I know I want a big hug and a slice of pie. So if I have anything to suggest, something pie. I read that as cream pie. Alright, next question we have, ladies of reddit, what is your ideal valentine's day experience courtesy of your SO? Wow, we're gonna get some real juicy information. Boys, take notes. Here we have cooking and drinking together. Also fucking together. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I like receiving things that I personally enjoy instead of cliches. I don't need cheesy stuffed heart holding bear that will take up room and eventually get thrown away, or flowers that will sit there and die in a cracked vase. I would rather spend that money on tasty food or doing something fun. I would rather have sour candies or chocolate. Basically, put two seconds of thought into what I like instead of heading to the seasonal holiday aisle and picking up the same thing as every other dude. I don't know, it really depends. It's either you're gonna give a general gift to someone you really like or you're gonna give a special gift for someone you really like uh, wait let me wait let me explain <laughs> basically do you know this person and do you not know this person and if you know this person then yes put some thought into your gift but if not i think chocolate and roses are fine i mean it's a general gift it's valentine's day it's not that serious okay so yeah <laughs> i don't know why i became very defensive there Making pancakes in your pajamas and eating them in bed, watching movies and sleeping and having sex. Did I mention pancakes? Okay, you know, I'm, I'm starting to see the theme here and I'm going to move on to the next question. Or next Reddit story. God damn it. Alright, moving on. Waiters, what Valentine's Day... Va Valentine's. What Valentine's Day... Valentine... Isn't it Valentine's Day? Anyway, what Valentine's Day disasters have you witnessed? I blew my car's tire and my friend came in to bail me out. We were both straight dudes and forgot it was Valentine's Day. Decided to have dinner and both were coming from important meetings so had suits on. We didn't catch on until the end on how the entire wait staff thought we were just the cutest gay couple of all time. Well, I added the all time there but now isn't that just adorable? You're just with your homie right there just enjoying life and then suddenly your hand is right on his lap and suddenly you're making it isn't that relatable girls okay i'm gonna set the record straight girls if your friend or if a guy is acting hella gay for the girls who watch this channel or and guys i guess if a guy is acting gay with his homie he is probably the most straight person you've ever met or either he's that or he's just really hella gay yeah that advice wasn't really helpful guys who are very comfortable with each other just are just comfortable like just showing their affection like when we're here we're just touching each other like you know no homo bro <laughs> these two were on a date and then the guy went to use the bathroom the girl gets up and leaves after he went to the restroom when the guy came back he sat around for a while until asking his waitress where she went she replied with saying that she left the guy then asked the waitress if she would go on a date with him the waitress said no <laughs> <laughs> Zero for two on one night, damn. <laughs> oh my god, imagine getting rejected twice <laughs> in, in your fucking date. Oh god, that that must have sucked, man. Like, imagine you leave the you leave to go to the bathroom and you come back and the table's just fucking empty. <laughs> you know what? This day couldn't get any worse. I'm just gonna ask the waitress out because I paid all this food and she just straight up and left so do you want to be my date and then the waitress is like i'm sorry but like you're you're hella ugly so and then the dude just there like the dude's probably there just like ha, cool <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this story <laughs> oh my god okay 
Oh god. He proposed. She said no. He cried and tried to change her mind for 20 minutes while she sat there stone-faced. <laughs> oh my god. She finally got up and walked out. <laughs> he paid and left in tears. Holy shit. Dude, I am so sorry. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm laughing? <laughs> that is so heartbreaking, but also so, so. <laughs> I, okay, as as sad as the situation is, I can just I can just imagine them at like fucking Jollibee or something, and and then they're like sitting across each other, and then the guy's just like, "Babe, I have something really special to tell you. Will you marry me?" <laughs> and then the girl just across is just like. He cried up and tried to change her mind for 20 minutes. Babe, please. We've been together for what, three days? And I think you're the one. It's <laughs> just the girl's like. Bro, how are you sure you're not dating an NPC? <laughs> and walked out what an asshole by the way she just walked up and left and you had to pay for that shit like at least tell him like i'm sorry like i, I don't see you as a husband but god she just walked out wait i just realized oh wait, yeah she just sat there for 20 minutes and then she finally got out and walked off so she sat there for 20 minutes just stone-faced and walk Ugh, jesus christ okay that's that's actually Okay, okay, <laughs> let's move on with Reddit. Reddit, what is a last good minute idea for a Valentine's Day? Ooh, in the Philippines, actually, we have a service. I didn't even know about this, but apparently you can deliver flowers on the same day. We have same day delivery for flowers, which was insane, which was really cool. Um, I remember my dad, one day he texted me, he was like, yo, don't you, it's Mother's Day soon, and I want to give your mom some flowers. Um, for context, my dad's in Thailand and meanwhile me and my mom were in the Philippines. So he couldn't give her flowers himself. So anyway, anyway, he was like, Don't you I found this uh flower delivery and they have same day delivery. And I was like, damn, that, holy crap, that how where'd you find this? Basically, you go onto their website, you choose a flower, and then they will deliver a flower, that exact flower, on the same day. Like the one I bought for my mom was really cool. This is not sponsored by the way. I if you're watching this, you better fucking sponsor me. But but my mom really loved it. It was really it really smelled great as well. It had like lavender, I think. I don't really remember. But yeah, I would say that's pretty much a last good minute valentine's day gift for me personally if you're willing to spend like 800 pesos for flowers or 1000 plus that yeah, it's not it's not cheap but it was for my mom so and my dad wanted to give it to my mom so it was very sweet anyway anything you come up with last minute is better than forgetting trust me okay yeah that's that's true what's more worse than forgetting right at least you gave the thought to it even as little as it is. All right, moving on, we have Reddit. What's the worst possible gift for your significant other on Valentine's Day? Once I ordered my girlfriend flowers that didn't arrive or were stolen from the porch, so I gave her the delivery confirmation instead. It was not as funny as I thought it would be. Okay, I'm just saying the flowers will wither in mere days. The delivery confirmation will stay intact for years longer if you're trying to post posture. Okay, if my future girlfriend would give me flowers and, and then turns out the delivery had, there was something wrong with the delivery, so she told me oh i'm sorry here's a receipt i'll be more happy to even receive the receipt because like damn you put in the thought and you know i it, it's i see the receipt i see that you bought the flowers so the thought was there so thank you and i, I appreciate it. it's like I, I even more touched the fact that you know the fact that you thought of buying me flowers or whatever so damn i don't i don't know what's with this guy's girlfriend or boyfriend or girlfriend but like damn the, i mean the thought was there so I don't know. It's just me. Okay, so my recording limit is about to hit, so I just want to end this video by talking about, and I want to be serious with you guys about single and finding the one. And a lot of people say that you will find the one, or the one is basically 80% of what you want, and you have to compromise on 20%. What I can say, and even though I am in no position to say this because I'm not in a relationship, but you will meet the person, you will feel it. Like, you don't have to rush, it will happen. You don't have to worry about whether or not you will find the one. I mean, obviously, there's factors where you have to put yourself out there and to explore, but if you're worried about finding the one, don't worry, it will happen. I mean, if you end up breaking up with someone, if you get with someone, it's just meant to be. 
and maybe and maybe that's what the universe wants maybe it's meant to be so don't worry too much okay and for those who are wondering if they should shoot their shot um if you know if you want to confess to a certain someone my usual advice would be we have a very limited time on this earth but we're also more limited on our youth we're never going to be younger we're always growing older day by day second by second and you will never get the chance to do stuff like this like confess or you know just cheesy shit like that so if you ever have someone you want to confess to go for it i would say just go for it like there's nothing to lose of course there's circumstances where they're your close friend but if you really have that urge of just letting it out then yeah i encourage this is your sign if you're watching this and you want to confess to someone this is your sign go do it um because what's life without making a little risk right and speaking of risking you can risk it with me Send your wedding applications down below in my email at sethneedsawife.gmail.com. I'll be accepting applications from all around the world. And uh, yeah, uh, send your applications down there in the email. And uh, yeah, I will be choosing one applicant. And the winner will be chosen by the end of this month. I will choose you and I will fly you over here and we will prepare our wedding. And that being said, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Everyone, don't forget to drink your water. Bye. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. Hello, welcome to the special segment of Kind Notebook. You have gotten to this point, that means you're still watching. Either you're doing something while you put me in the background. Just, just, just leave me there so that I have more watch time. But, um, I just want to talk about, uh, university and stuff. Like, I literally just came home. If, like, if I, I wish I could show you my bed, but it's like really messy right now. I've been really, really underestimating how much time dentistry, will, <laughs> dental school will take. Like every day, there's like something to do, and then I'm also trying to uh, do other things like my driving school. Oh, speaking of driving school, I did drive. I finished my, I did finish my driving course, and uh, it was like ten hours or twelve hours, and I finished it. Uh, apparently. The driver's instructor, the, the instructor told me that I did a pretty good job, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've been also, I've also been hitting the gym lately. Um, here's my progress. It's not that much, but um, I am getting in shape again, which is pretty nice because the last few months I really didn't have time to um, to really get in shape again. So yeah, um, I've been planning on going to a derm clinic to get a facial treatment not a facial but a facial treatment hopefully that will go well um it is very expensive though so maybe i will go there after i i secure myself a couple deals but uh i kind of miss making this kind of content not gonna lie like just talking to the camera and just making jokes and all that i kind of miss this content maybe i'll be making this type of content even more because i kind of enjoy making this content it's not as hard to edit as well compared to my other videos it's more or less just me talking to the camera but I'm not the best at it i'm not used to it yet but throughout time hopefully i can just get used to it and maybe make even more commentary videos i'll make commentary videos about you know just random things and productivity school issues whatever like i just love talking to the camera it's really nice the thing is i've always been saying i will be doing this and that but then i never do so i'll just not say anything but yeah, um, if you're still here and if you're still listening, I just want to say thank you for um, sticking by me at, at the end of the video or something. I don't know. But yeah, uh, anyway, I will be turning off the camera now. And for those who are wondering, yes, I'm actually single. But uh, the reason why I am not in a relationship right now is because I want to kind of focus on... I, like, I feel like I have so much more to learn by myself. Like, I can't even manage my time properly, what more when I have a girlfriend, right? So, um, there's that. So, yeah, I will be posing for the, the thumbnail, and then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hit the three wheel motion. I was glad everything had worked out. Dropped the burnt off and then choked out.